The morning dove is a member of the dove family. The bird is also called the turtle dove or the American morning dove or rain dove and formerly was known as the Carolina pigeon or Carolina turtle dove. It is one of the most abundant and widespread of all North American birds. It is also the leading game bird with more than 20 million birds up to 70 million in some years shot annually in the US both for sport and for meat. Its ability to sustain its population under such pressure stems from its prolific breeding. In warm areas one pair may raise up to six broods a year. The wings can make an unusual whistling sound upon taking off and landing, a form of sonation. The bird is a strong flyer, capable of speeds of 88 kilometers per hour or 55 miles per hour. Morning doves are light gray and brown and generally muted in color. Males and females are similar in appearance. The species is generally monogamous, with two squabs per brood. Both parents incubate and care for the young. Morning doves eat almost exclusively seeds, but the young are fed crop milk by their parents. Taxonomy The morning dove is closely related to the eared dove and the Socorro dove. Some authorities describe them as forming a super species and these three birds are sometimes classified in the separate genus Xenidura. But the current classification has them as separate species in the genus Xenida. In addition, the Socorro dove has at times been considered conspecific with the morning dove. Although several differences in behavior, call, and appearance justify separation as two different species. While the three species do form a subgroup of Zeneda, using a separate genus would interfere with the monophyly of Zeneda by making it paraphyletic. There are five subspecies of morning dove, Eastern, Clarion Island, West Indian, Western, Panama. The ranges of most of the subspecies overlap a little, with three in the United States or Canada. The West Indian subspecies is found throughout the Greater Antilles. It has recently invaded the Florida Keys. The Eastern subspecies is found mainly in Eastern North America, as well as Bermuda and the Bahamas. The western subspecies is found in western North America, including parts of Mexico. The Panamanian subspecies is located in Central America. The Clarion Island subspecies is found only on Clarion Island, just off the Pacific coast of Mexico. The morning dove is sometimes called the American morning dove to distinguish it from the distantly related morning collared dove of Africa. It was also formerly known as the Carolina turtle dove and the Carolina pigeon. The species specific name was bestowed in 1838 by French zoologist Charles L. Bonaparte in honor of his wife Princess Zaneda. The morning part of its common name comes from its call. It was thought to be the passenger pigeon's closest living relative based on morphological grounds. The morning dove was even suggested to belong to the same genus, Ectopistes, and was listed by some authors as E. carolinensis. Distribution The morning dove has a large range of nearly 11 million square kilometers or 
4.2 million square miles. The species is resident throughout the Greater Antilles, most of Mexico, the continental United States, and southern Canada. Much of the Canadian prairie sees these birds in summer only, and southern Central America sees them in winter only. The species is a vagrant in northern Canada, Alaska, and South America. It has been spotted as an accidental at least seven times in the western Palearctic, with records from the British Isles, Azores, and Iceland. In 1963, the morning dove was introduced to Hawaii, and in 1998, there was still a small population in North Kona. The morning dove also appeared on Socorro Island, off the western coast of Mexico in 1988, 16 years after the Socorro dove was extirpated from that island. Description The morning dove is a medium-sized, slender dove, approximately 31 centimeters or 12 inches in length. Morning doves weigh 112 to 170 grams, or 4 to 6 ounces, usually closer to 128 grams, 4.5 ounces. The elliptical wings are broad and the head is rounded. Its tail is long and tapered. Morning doves have perching feet with three toes forward and one reversed. The legs are short and reddish colored. The beak is short and dark, usually a brown-black hue. The plumage is generally light gray-brown and lighter and pinkish below. The wings have black spotting and the outer tail feathers are white, contrasting with the black inners. Below the eye is a distinctive crescent-shaped area of dark feathers. The eyes are dark, with light skin surrounding them. The adult male has bright purple-pink patches on the neck sides, with light pink coloring reaching the breast. The crown of the adult male is distinctively bluish-gray color. Females are similar in appearance, but with more brown coloring overall and a little smaller than the male. The iridescent feather patches on the neck above the shoulders are nearly absent, but can be quite vivid on males. Juvenile birds have a scaly appearance and are generally darker. All five subspecies of the morning dove look similar and are not easily distinguishable. The nominate subspecies possesses shorter wings and is darker and more buff-colored than the average morning dove. Z. M. carolinensis has longer wings and toes, a shorter beak, and is darker in color. The western subspecies has longer wings, a longer beak, shorter toes, and is more muted and lighter in color. The Panama morning dove has shorter wings and legs, a longer beak, and is grayer in color. The Clarion Island subspecies possesses larger feet, a larger beak, and is darker brown in color. Habitat The morning dove occupies a wide variety of open and semi-open habitats, such as urban areas, farms, prairie, grassland, and lightly wooded areas. It avoids swamps and thick forest. The species has adapted well to areas altered by humans. They commonly nest in trees in cities or near farmsteads. Migration Most morning doves migrate along flyways over land. On rare occasions, Morning doves have been seen flying over the Gulf of Mexico, but this is exceptional. Spring migration north runs from March to May. Fall migration south 
runs from September to November, with immatures moving first, followed by adult females, and then by adult males. Migration is usually during the day, in flocks, and at low altitudes. However, not all individuals migrate. Even in Canada, some morning doves remain through winter, sustained by the presence of bird feeders. Sounds The species call is a distinctive, plaintive uttered by males to attract females and may be mistaken for the call of an owl at first. Close up, a grating or throat rattling sound may be heard preceding the first coo. Other sounds include a nest call by paired males to attract their mates to the nest sites, a greeting call by males upon rejoining their mates, and an alarm call by either male or female when threatened. In flight, the wings make a fluttery whistling sound that is hard to hear. The wing whistle is much louder and more noticeable upon takeoff and landing. Reproduction Courtship begins with a noisy flight by a male, followed by a graceful, circular glide with outstretched wings and head down. After landing, the male will approach the female with a puffed out breast, bobbing head, and loud calls. Mated pairs will often preen each other's feathers. The male then leads the female to potential nest sites, and the female will choose one. The female dove builds the nest. The male will fly about, gathering material, and bring it to her. The male will stand on the female's back and give the material to the female, who then builds it into the nest. The nest is constructed of twigs, conifer needles, or grass blades, and is of flimsy construction. Morning doves will sometimes requisition the unused nests of other morning doves, other birds, or arboreal mammals such as squirrels. Most nests are in trees, both deciduous and coniferous. Sometimes they can be found in shrubs, vines, or on artificial constructs like buildings or hanging flower pots. When there is no suitable elevated object, Morning doves will nest on the ground. The clutch size is almost always two eggs. Occasionally, however, a female will lay her eggs in the nest of another pair, leading to three or four eggs in the nest. The eggs are white. Both sexes incubate, the male from morning to afternoon, and the female the rest of the day and night. Morning doves are devoted parents. Nests are very rarely left unattended by the adults. When flushed from the nest, an incubating parent may perform a nest distraction display or a broken wing display, fluttering on the ground as if injured, then flying away when the predator approaches it. Incubation takes two weeks. The hatched young, called squabs, are strongly altricial, being helpless at hatching and covered with down. Both parents feed the squabs pigeon's milk or dove's milk for the first three to four days of life. Therefore, the crop milk is generally augmented by seeds. Fledging takes place in about 11 to 15 days before the squabs are fully grown, but after they are capable of digesting adult food. They stay nearby to be fed by their father for up to two weeks after fledging. Morning doves are prolific breeders. In warmer areas, these birds may raise up to six broods in a season. This fast breeding is essential because mortality is high. Each year, Mortality can reach 58% a year for adults, 
and 69% for the young. The mourning dove is monogamous and forms strong pair bonds. Pairs typically reconvene in the same area the following breeding season and sometimes may remain together throughout the winter. However, lone doves will find new partners if necessary. Ecology Morning doves eat almost exclusively seeds, which make up more than 99% of their diet. Rarely, they will eat snails or insects. Morning doves generally eat enough to fill their crops and then fly away to digest while resting. They often swallow grit, such as fine gravel or sand, to assist with digestion. The species usually forages on the ground, walking but not hopping. At bird feeders, morning doves are attracted to one of the largest ranges of seed types of any North American bird, with a preference for canola, corn, millet, safflower, and sunflower seeds. Morning doves do not dig or scratch for seeds, instead eating what is readily visible. They will sometimes perch on plants and eat from there. Morning doves show a preference for the seeds of certain species of plant over others. Foods taken in preference to others include pine nuts, sweet gum seeds, and the seeds of pokeberry, amaranth, canary grass, corn, sesame, and wheat. When their favorite foods are absent, morning doves will eat the seeds of other plants, including buckwheat, rye, goose grass, and smartweed. Morning doves can be afflicted with several different parasites and diseases, including tapeworms, nematodes, mites, and lice. The mouth-dwelling parasite, Trichomonas galinae, is particularly severe. While a morning dove will sometimes host it without symptoms, it will often cause yellowish growth in the mouth and esophagus that will eventually starve the host to death. Avian pox is a common insect vector disease. The primary predators of this species are diurnal birds of prey, such as falcons and hawks. During nesting, corvids, grackles, house cats, or rat snakes will prey on their eggs. Cowbirds rarely parasitize morning dove nests. Morning doves reject slightly under a third of cowbird eggs in such nests and the morning dove's vegetarian diet is unsuitable for cowbirds. Behavior Like other columbids, the morning dove drinks by suction without lifting or tilting its head. It often gathers at drinking spots around dawn and dusk. Morning doves sunbathe or rain bathe by lying on the ground or on a flat tree limb leaning over, stretching one wing, and keeping this posture for up to 20 minutes. These birds can also water bathe in shallow pools or bird baths. Dust bathing is common as well. Outside the breeding season, morning doves roost communally in dense deciduous trees or in conifers. During sleep, the head rests between the shoulders, close to the body, it is not tucked under the shoulder feathers as in many other species. During the winter in Canada, roosting flights to the roosts in the evening and out of the roosts in the morning are delayed on colder days. Conservation Status The number of individual morning doves is estimated to be approximately 475 million. The large population and its vast range explain why the morning dove is considered to be of least concern, meaning that the species is not at immediate risk. As a game bird, the morning dove is well managed, with more than 20 million and up to 40 to 70 million shot by hunters each year. 
as a symbol and in the arts. The Eastern Morning Dove is Wisconsin's official symbol of peace. The bird is also Michigan's state bird of peace. The Morning Dove appears as the Carolina Turtle Dove on plate 286 of Audubon's Birds of America. References to Morning Dove appears frequently in Native American literature. Morning Dove imagery also turns up in contemporary American and Canadian poetry in the works of poets as diverse as Robert Bly, Jared Carter, Lorene Niedecker, and Charles Wright. Musical artist Prince also referenced the Morning Dove in his song, When Doves Cry. Closest Related Species The Morning Dove is a related species to the passenger pigeon, which was hunted to extinction in the early 1900s. For this reason, the possibility of using morning doves for cloning the passenger pigeon has been discussed.